The sex gradually decreases. Megan risks losing all fake prizes. I can't help but wonder if a prize contestant who just invents a prize to give to the highest bidder also has the power to take back the prize without having to refund the purchase price. So here's what I'm saying. If you buy something and the goods are found to be damaged or found to be defective in any way, shape or form, the manufacturer usually recalls them and then either replaces them with another product or refunds you. The candidate is guilty of bribery because a token of recognition for genuine good work is usually presented to the hardest working person for their outstanding contribution. Like what happened when the former Catherine Middleton, now known as the Princess of Wales, received the gold award for outstanding achievement as an all-round student athlete and humanitarian from the Duke of Edinburgh while a sixth form student at Marlborough College. It was at this time that Catherine received her gold award from the Duke of Edinburgh. Anyone who gets such an award in recognition of their excellence should be found guilty of doing something horrible like cheating. They should have done something bad enough to convince the judges that they are not worthy to hold the prize and that the prize must be reclaimed. And you know, it also seems like unfair recognition if someone gets an award just because they donate money to an organization, because they want to get the award by using public donations to buy personal recognition at the place of a real and significant concrete involvement in the work for this charitable institution. Over a period of time, Meghan Markle received a Kennedy Human Rights Award for having walked in the monarchy thanks to what she now called of structural racism. Then a few months later, they denied ever claiming the royal family was racist, and why did they take it back? Well it was probably because they figured out that saying something awful about the family after the Queen of the Lake died meant Harry's inheritance money might be affected. Now, if you ask me, the Kennedy Foundation should definitely take over the award. But if they take the prize back, does that mean they have to refund everything Meghan paid for the prize? So when Meghan received the Vision of Hope award given to her by Gloria Steinham, it was meant to inspire women to succeed. I'm not sure what it was. Himself and fortune perhaps, by blackmailing and forcing a famous prince to marry. Is that why he received the award? Then, after the awards ceremony, Meghan Harry caused a lot of havoc by organizing photographers and briefing the media as they staged this alleged two-hour high-speed car chase while the streets of Manhattan are blocked and that no one could spend two hours. 80 miles one hour go. They completely tricked the organization into submitting to Meghan's demands by giving her an award that should have gone to a woman who truly deserved it, maybe someone who went to college and then graduated, because I don't know of a medical researcher who discovered the genetic mutations that cause certain cancers. Or maybe it could have gone to a woman who worked hard to develop a vaccine that prevents certain types of cancer. There are fake posts on the internet claiming that Gloria Steinam took over the award from Meghan, and I wish that was true. But I don't think so, because Gloria Steinem hasn't made any public statements saying that and she sees that she's a vulnerable target for people like Meghan Mark, she's frail, she's old. And sadly, Meghan goes after people like Gloria Stein, who is now 89 and sadly has no close family with someone like Meghan, Meghan, a con artist, and of course, he would do his homework on Gloria Steiner before approaching her at 8.20 p.m., then sucking her in by acting like she was his lifelong fan. The truth is, he had probably never heard of her name until he googled American female activists, and he would have discovered that Gloria Steinem was childless. She doesn't really have close family to care for her as both of her parents died, when she was just a teenager, and her sister passed away a long time ago. Megan is such a snake in the grass, so evil, fortunately, 89-year-old Gordon Getty fathered at least one child. He had girls to dump Megan on when she started talking to him earlier in the year. Megan was on page 5 of the Gracie Award nominations for her podcast show, and it was all done by the woman who hosted the podcast interviews where Megan mostly talked about herself. Of course, the Gracie Awards presentation was scheduled for the week after the Hope Awards assumed they had advised Meghan not to come. This whole issue hasn't raised much public discussion, 
but meanwhile at UK Friends William is working so hard on his Earth Shot Award show and also a $96 million Netflix show to promote environmental protection. So he's into it, trying to inspire people to win awards for good work and presenting the awards to the public. See Williams not just to get awards for himself. The truth about why Meghan and Harry ran away from their jobs as hard-working royalty may be somewhat different from the stories Meghan and Harry spewed out in various public deliberations in interviews, books and podcasts. I guess the two are starting to fall off bit by bit. They truly believe they are so special, which is actually quite frustrating, because they are as ordinary as anyone else. Prince William, on the other hand, understands that he controls the narrative, because he is honest. A strong personality will not be influenced by the opinions of others. William is the one who said his family weren't racist after Harry and Meghan said the family was. I'm so glad we can always know that William will stick to his values and face issues head on, he's not one to stick with Williams on a mission to make the world as well as his country. A better place after the world realizes how cruel and deceitful Harry and Meghan are, they turned even more to Prince William. Harry has lost all the powers he once had and it looks like he's ready to return to the UK for a life without Meghan. The power is certainly behind King Charles and his heir William. We have always known that William is loyal, strong and a born leader, and the world truly turns to him when we want to know the truth. Harry slowly but surely lost complete control of his life, and once people saw how he was trying to get more money for himself and make people lose a lot of respect. And that's because Queen Elizabeth was so loved and is still so respected in death. How dare Harry cause unnecessary stress and make his last years painful? How dare he tell Oprah lies about his family and allow his wife to do the same? Harry also sues someone about every month and then loses and then takes another lawsuit. Harry is an absolute hypocrite. Dot he keeps talking about the climate and the environment, but he only flies with these guzzlers and he flies private jets. To William, on the other hand, takes commercial flights and works hard at the Earth Shot Prize to save the world from climate change. We also know how Harry treats animals, it's incredibly cruel. He was terrible with his polo ponies, making them bleed, and then there's this dog from Harry's who kind of broke both of his front legs. I wonder how it happened. Harry thinks only of himself, and now the insect addiction Harry can't be trusted. Meghan is also trying to distance herself from him. Prince William, on the other hand, can certainly be trusted. He started as his mother's confidant and is now the confidant of so many, for which his father, King Charles William, is certainly responsible. I think it always was, but now everyone knows it and I think Harry was aware of it from the start. Dot. But he was so jealous, and so he wanted to be more famous more love than William as if that could ever happen. You see, William walks through life with such confidence and is loved by many that he should speak volumes for himself. But we all know that. We also see Meghan's supporters seeing all the power in Williams and realizing she won.